Hey guys, it's Braden, and today we are going to be adding opening and closing programs within C Sharp with our voice. So to do this, we have to have system.diagnostics, which we already have. So we're going to create two new commands. We're going to do open office because we're going to be opening um, the program open office. You can. Um, oh my god, can I not spell today? And then we're going, so we're going to open up OpenOffice. You can use Word. That'd be uh, winword.exe, I think is the task for that. Anyway, I'll go over that later. Open or close Office. So now we have Open and Close Office. Let's go add these down here. Let's type in if r is equal to... Close office and open office. There we go. So now to open it, we're going to do process. Oops. Process dot start. And we're going to start the um, program directory. So if we go in here, I already found where the actual start file is. This it's um, So basically, what I did, I went oops is right here in my program files I found it in program files 86 I don't know where your program might be hidden you just have to find the right file open office then I found program and then the start is s office oops now let's go here let's copy properties we're going to copy the directory Okay, so now we're going to start that. Let's put an at sign here because this string is a directory. And then now we're going to type in sOffice.exe. So now let's test it. Open Office. Opens up Open Office. Perfect. Now closing hi. is a little bit more difficult. Oops. Why did it say hi? Uh, Anywho, we're going to add a new method. Where can we add one? Right here. Let's do public static void kill prog. Prog stands for program, obviously. Um, in here, let's do string s. In here, let's type in system dot diagnostics diagnostics dot process. Then let's do these prox equals to null. Oops. Okay. Now let's tr let's make a try and let's type that. Inside this, let's do prox. This is prox stands for processes. Equals to process. process dot get pro get process by name. And we're gonna get s. S is the string that we're putting in. Um, what else? Then we're gonna do process. Prog, prog is for program, equals process zero. So this gets the first process. Under that, let's do if prog dot has exited. So if it hasn't exited yet, we're going to kill the program. try loop oops what did I do let's get rid of this let's get that another one of these um, 
anyway, under our try loop, what did I forget? Oh, we're good. Um. So right here under our try, we're gonna type in finally. I finally. Then we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do if prox doesn't equal to null. Oops. Then we're gonna do for each. Process P in rocks. Then, oops, we're gonna create a new one, and we're gonna do P dot dispose. Perfect. Now let's see. Do I have a problem? I think so. So I just clean this up a tad. Not that the syntax matters what it looks like, it's just I like it to be neat. Uh, anyway, so now that we have that all set up, now we should be able to do kill prog, then the program we're trying to kill. So the way we're going to test this is we're going to open up good old task manager. Let's say um, open office. So now in here, here is open office. Great. And you? I don't know what it just said. And then you click properties, and this is what the program's name is. So you're going to want to copy that. X out of that, X out of that. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And let's go back to our code. And for close office, you're going to do kill prog. And we're going to make our string, and we're going to paste this thing that we saw earlier. So let's do open office kill office or close office and it closes it perfect open office close office there you go thanks for watching please share and subscribe